Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Recherche Side Dishes of 1901, we're going to be making the anchovy sandwich Nelson style. No idea what that means. Okay, this recipe calls for bread that is an eighth of an inch thick, and that means I got to cut a piece of bread in half. A lot of you have always questioned, like, how do you do that? Uh, I've got a really sharp knife here. I'm going to try and record it, but of course, because I'm recording it, it's probably not going to work. The hardest part is keeping the knife level. And voila! Yes, the milk ahete is out because we need to pound together anchovies, butter, curry paste, Parmesan cheese, grated, cayenne pepper. I forgot, I have to mash in some egg yolk. Hard boiled egg yolk, that is. Now out of our thinly sliced bread, we have to cut two rounds. It said to use two inch uh, cutter, but I don't have a two inch. It's about two and three quarters. Oh well. Now we put this onto our rounds. A while ago I would have said this looked like cat food, but we have a cat now. Cat food looks better. Okay, let's give this anchovy sandwich Nelson style a go. That was a nice little kick to it. The um, curry paste that I used, I know when you've heard curry paste, you probably thought red curry, green curry? This is more of an Indian curry, and I made this curry paste from a recipe from 1840s over on Barry's Cooking, again, if you want to check it out. But it's already got a kick to it. Then we added in some uh, cayenne pepper, kind of an extra little kick. Of course, the egg yolks bring a little bit of richness. Um, yeah, I do want to try and plus this up just a smidge. I'm going to put on a little HP sauce. Tangy, sweet, and a little cilantro. What? Okay, let's give this plussed up anchovy sandwich Nelson style a go. HP sauce, bringing in almost kind of like a tamarind, sweet, sour uh, flavor to it. And of course, cilantro. And if you have the cilantro gene where it tastes like soap, I'm sorry, it doesn't taste like soap to me. It tastes delicious. I have to say the original anchovy sandwich Nelson style, clearly not intended as a meal. Tea sandwich, snack sandwich, it was okay. Um, I think I could have used a little bit more of that curry paste. I'm going to give it a five and a half. Plusing up with the HP sauce and cilantro, it's about a six and a half. It was a tasty little number. As you saw, I did finish it. Um, would I make it again? Probably not. Will I finish up the rest of the filling that I made? You bet. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. So the recipe calls for us to use bread that is one eighth of an inch thick. And I've always had people say, show us how you cut that bread in half. I'm going to try, but because I'm filming it, I'm sure it's not going to go well. That's also part of the problem is the bread sticks to the knife sometimes. And there you go. Oh, and I get a lot of questions asking how I get the molcajete clean with all these fish that I pound into it. I just got done filming. This is hot soapy water. I let it sit for a few, like a minute or so. Then just scrub the heck out of it with more hot water. Boom, done. My molcajete has a rather smooth surface. It's not textured in any way. So that might be the difference between what you're uh, experiencing, what I'm experiencing, but right, it cleans up nice when you do it right away.